Hey guys, thanks for coming back. This is Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're going to review these goggles here. They're the Havoc Infinity goggles and I've got a big thumbs up for these things. Let's get into it. So I try a lot of goggles. I've probably tried 20 different goggles and I don't review most of them because there's just kind of like, eh, you know, they, they do something but they don't really kind of move the needle for me. These ones move the needle for me. They're not perfect. I'll get into something that I've been, that I've had a problem with. But overall, these goggles have been my go-to goggle. I keep, I, I, I've got like, right now I probably have six different goggles kind of in my bag, in my rotation. And I keep reaching for these before I reach for the other ones. And that tells me something. So I wanted to bring it to you and show you what's going on. This is the Havoc Infinity Profit. Let me bring you in a little bit closer and we'll show you what's going on with this thing. So here's a little bit closer look at these Havoc Infinity goggles and this one was the Profit. Actually, it's not the Profit until I do this with the goggle and actually put the mirrored lens on it that comes with it in Profit form. Oh wait, did you guys just see that? I actually just swapped lenses that fast. Let me do that again. Maybe I wanna go with the double pane lens because I'm gonna do some snow biking. Boom, there it is. I want a little bit little less fogging with this one. No, you know what, the light isn't quite right today. So I'm just gonna go with the clear lens. I'm gonna put that on. Did you guys see how easy that is? This is why this goggle, this is one of the reasons why this goggle has been like my go-to the last month or two is because it's so easy to swap lenses like this. I've got a clear lens, I've got a double pane lens so it, it'll fog less, and then here I've got a mirrored goggle that has a little bit of a tint to it. It's that easy to be swapping. How does this work? There's magnets inside of this frame and the magnets adhere to the magnets that are on the back side of the actual goggles. And it's, it's a curved goggle lens. You get really, really good uh, vision with this thing and they pop right on like this. Now, do these things pop off easily? They do not pop off easily. I've had a couple of crashes here recently and these things have stayed on really, really well. If you smack your head just right and get just enough you know, force on this, it can pop off. Maybe slightly easier than a traditional goggle lens, but I keep coming back to this because it's so much easier for me to clean these things. I don't know about you guys, but I end up wanting to clean my goggle lenses after every ride and it's so easy with this to just clean that and then stick it back on. I really, really love that. Another thing that you can do with these is you can actually just slide your, your strap off really easily. The, the straps come off both sides. That way if you wanted to get a replacement strap or just look super cool, you know, be always swapping this thing out, you can do that. See how easy that is on both sides once you figure out which way you need to push that through and it's really hard to do on camera. There we go. At any rate, that's very good. The other thing that I love about them is it's actually really, really comfortable. If I bring my helmet over here, these things have such, they don't put pressure on the bridge of my nose. That's one thing, that's one problem that I have with a lot of different goggles is right here on the bridge of my nose, I'll get like a ton of pressure and it just kind of makes it uncomfortable after an hour or two. These, for my face, are about the most comfortable goggle that I've really ever had. And I've tried it with multiple different helmets. I've got these Fly Formula helmets. I've got a couple different 6D helmets and the, the goggle has a really nice fit, really nice um, you know, shape to fit inside of my helmets. And I don't get that really you know, extra pressure here on the bridge of my nose. And the reason why they call them the Infinity Goggle is you get such a wide field of view. And I can, I can attest to that. No matter which lens I've put on these things, uh, you do have a very wide field of view that goes along with that. And so I really like that. However, let's talk about one, the one negative thing that I have noticed is if you're a guy who runs tear-offs, and I'm not that guy, I haven't had the best luck with these, with the tear-off um, posts is what you'd call them, the tear-off posts. See, this tear-off post is actually kind of loose inside here. This is a double pane lens, and this one is loose inside of here. And you'll notice, look, the tear-off post is gone on my clear one. And guess what? The tear-off post is also gone on this one. They've been popping out. So I'm not a tear-off guy, and so it, it hasn't been a big deal to me. But if you are going to run tear-offs with these goggles, based on the fact that I've got three different lenses here, and they all have had somewhat of a failure on these, I would say you might want to just run a little bit of glue right on, on this guy, on these posts when you get your Havoc goggle and that way you would, you know, basically eliminate probably 
losing those things. Other than the fact that I'm losing tear off posts, these are really awesome. Obviously you get, it comes like most goggles, you'll come with a goggle case, a goggle bag that you can throw in your pack for helping you to wipe off your goggles in the middle of a ride or whatever. But um, like I said, I've got a lot of goggles out in my case, my, my riding bag, and I don't bring most of those to you because I'm just like, ah, it's just another pair of goggles. Maybe it's not comfortable, whatever it is. These goggles I do really, really like, despite the fact that I'm losing the um, tear off posts, it's still been my go-to and my favorite goggle that I've been using over the past several months. So uh, it's not super, they're not super cheap. I think these things are about $80. So it is kind of on the upper end of, you know, goggles, but the fact that you can swap out lenses so quickly and just change things, um, I think it's pretty cool and I thought it was worth bringing it to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos, these gear reviews and the bike reviews that we do. This is a product that I'm gonna continue to use and I think you might like it as well. If you like these videos, you wanna see more of them, you can always support Dirt Bike Channel. You can go to, you can use our links like down in the description if you're buying stuff on Rocky Mountain ATV or Motosport, I have links for you where it won't cost you anything and you can support Dark Bike Channel that way. I'll find a link for this thing and put it down in the description. And what else? Oh, you can also support us if you want to on Patreon or PayPal. If you go to dirtbikechannel.com right now, you can do that. And we'll also be giving away this beta right here and that Yamaha over there that's out of the frame and another KTM. I'll be giving three bikes away here very, very soon. The sweepstakes for uh, the early 2020 DBC sweepstakes is gonna start on April 15th and run through June 15th. So 60 day sweepstakes, just like before. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, go ahead and leave a single track. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Thor, 100% Havoc. Just kidding. Okay, I think that's it.